and they are just about set and they're off in the Qatar derby for pure Arabians they'll go 16 hundred meters and as they broke away it was Alda Woodia who is out in front Easter de Faust is ranked second taking a very strong hold in the hands of Harry Bentley as they prepare to leave the shoot behind them and it will be Alda Woodia who will bag the inside rail as they move into the back stretch Easter de Faust still lit up on that one's outside Samhan Al Sharjah is up there and Yat Zakan is also in the first four. Al Kabir is stalking back in fifth position and getting a good trip into the race. Then Mon Farid and already been ridden along is Elwan at the back of the field of seven classy Arabians as they go towards halfway in the pure Arabian derby. And the leader is Alda Woodia, taken on by Easter de Faust towards the outside, now settling into a stride. Al Kabir sits the trip on the inside rail in third. In fourth is Samhan Al Shajar, who's now been ridden along, shaken up towards the outside is Yatza Khan as they begin to make the turn. El Wan is now trying to pick up towards the inside. Mon Farid is just last, as it is Alda Woodia and Easter de Faust, the two fillies who lead them down towards the final 300. And Harry Bentley can wait no more. And Easter de Faust is sent into the lead. Al Kabir gives chase from out of the pack. Alda Woodia has run her race they're racing down towards the final hundred it is easter de faust this classy filly from france will strut her stuff on her qatar debut and easter de faust has won the qatar derby for pure arabians al kabir was in second and tight here we are then let's have a word with the uh, with the winning jockey as we look at the results confirming that Easter de Faust is the winner. And Harry's just looking back at the back big at the screen. Big you had it well sewn up by the time we look at it here, Harry. She was very, very impressive. Yeah, she is. Uh, she's obviously a Group 1 winner in France. And, you know, the French Arabian racing is incredibly strong. So um, I knew it was going to stand me in pretty good stead today. But she's given me a really, really good feel. She's a nice feeling. And the one uh, debate today was whether she'd be as effective dropping back in distance to 1,600 metres. But I guess when you're on this much class, it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Especially these Arabians, you know, they're quite versatile in trip. And... If you get a good one like her, she, you can drop back and step up. But I have to say, she was incredibly strong and, and, and free going in the race. So almost surprises me that she was effective over 2,000 in France. You've ridden so many good Arabians out here. Where does she stack up? She's definitely up there. You know, she's got potential to come out here and make a, a serious impact in the in the racing over here. And there's a few targets for her later on in the season in February. So, you know, an exciting one. Look forward to seeing her back here at the Emir's Sword Festival, no doubt. Harry, well done. Thanks. Harry Bentley in amongst the winners again. Easter de Faust, incredibly impressive in the Qatar Derby for purebred Arabians. And confirming the result, first was number 10, Easter de Faust. Second, number one, Al Kabir. Third was nine, Al Dawoodia. Fourth, number five, Mon Farid. And fifth was number seven, Saman Al Sajjar. The runtime 142.22 seconds. Yep, yep. So, Peter Chamberlain will, first of all, present the prize to the winning jockey, the champion jockey here in Qatar, Harry Bedley. And now the winning trainer, put your hands together once again for Jasim Ghazali. المدرب الفائز بدرب قطر للخيل العربية الأصيلة جاسم الغزالي. And once again, please welcome to the presentation podium the winning owner, and he's owned so many good horses, he's got another one here, Khalifa bin Shail al Khwari. ويتسلم كأس بطلة درب قطر للخيل العربية الأصيلة السيد الملك خليفة بن شعيل الكواري ألف بروك الفوز صورة جميلة وتذكارية للفائزين بهذا الشوط بطلة درب قطر للخيل العربية الأصيلة المهرة الشقراء إستردوف بس وحاري بيتلي
So once again, our thanks to Mr. Peter Chamberlain, the Deputy Head of Mission for the Embassy of the United Kingdom here in Qatar. And congratulations to all connected with the brilliant filly, Easter der Faust.